My dudes, my guys, my people, how you doing? This is Poppy. This is Dragon Quest Poppy. And today we're going to review Dragon Quest, The Adventure of Die. Chapter 17. Right? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, chapter 17. The Tale of the Beast King Crocodile. Um, yeah. So, let's just get right into it. But before that, Nani? make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell, okay? I appreciate you. Thank you for doing that. All right. So, this chapter was freaking so much fun, dude. I absolutely enjoyed it. Um, love the panel. Uh, well, the introduction panel was fantastic with Pop and Die. That was so much fun and cute. I loved it. Uh, but I really love the first panel where uh, it shows Nile Village. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Loved it. Um, and then I love the detail. Uh, this is why I'm loving the manga so much because there's just so much more detail and so much more depth to the story. But basically, I love where uh, the village elder uh, is saying to mom, like, "Hey, you know, don't don't strain yourself. Like, I'm sorry that there's you know not enough men in the village to help protect it. You know." And mom was like, don't worry about it. It's okay. I understand. They all went to go help Romo's castle out. So, it you know, it makes sense. The, it, you know, the anime doesn't say that stuff. It just, just, it never says anything about that. But I love that detail because it makes sense. You know, Romo's castle is in war with the Furlang, you know, legion. So it's cool. I really, really enjoyed that detail. Especially when they are all like really sad about, you know, that whole situation. It's cool, man. It was cool. I love that detail. Um, <clears throat> by the way, I might sound a little congested, and I apologize for that. Um, I am hardcore fighting allergies right now. So, yeah. Sorry, guys. Anyways. So, it was also hilarious. Hilarious. When the boys were saying that, you know, mom is so strong. She's practically a monster herself. And mom got pissed off and pounds the boy in the head. And uh, after that, the boy's face is like with his tongue out, like, mm. <laughs> so funny. Love that. Uh, you can just tell how well, you know, the village gets along. I love it. Um, <clears throat> I love when Gomichan pops out. And, um, well, first of all, him being left behind, again, makes so much sense as to why mom went to find them in the first place. You know what I mean? Because in the anime, she's just in the forest and happens to save Pop. But it doesn't really explain why. You know what I mean? It just makes sense. So it's cool. Um, or at least there's more detail behind it or it makes more sense. I just love it. I love it. Um, so yeah, but I love that uh, the little girl basically was the one that saved Gomechan because she was like, he's so cute. And you know, Gomechan started crying and stuff. Mom was about to just roast his freaking butt, dude. But uh, she was like, no, please, no. So it was cute. It was adorable. Love it. Um, <clears throat> dude, freaking Crocodine's cave is dope, dude. It looks awesome. And I absolutely love the part where I feel like they emphasize it more in the manga where Hadler shows Crocodine who he wants to kill and Crocodine literally cannot contain his laughter and is dying of laughter. It is so freaking hilarious. I loved it. <clears throat> yeah, super funny. And then after that, I really liked the part where... Um, Basically, Pop has like a bipolar episode with um, with Dai when Dai was like, 
We should have just stayed in the village and he, you know, or gone to the village and Pop was like, no, no way, that woman, blah, 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 blah. super hilarious. And then Dai was like, but so what, what, what kind of women can you stand? And Pop's face completely 100% changes. And he's just like, oh, well, I really like rich girls and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, obviously they'd have to do anything I asked them to. <laughs> oh my gosh. And Dai was just like, wow, you really are selfish so freaking funny dude love it and then pop again with, with coming back with the insults look you want to talk or you know something like that it's freaking hilarious loved it um and then bro another big difference from the anime which i love is die and pop run into the infanticore so cool so cool absolutely love that and that whole sequence was hilarious literally they're trying to sneak away because their faces were so much so hilarious i was dying like di you know they both saying that they've never seen one before well at least die and then pop was like this thing will bite your head off you know it's basically it's so funny like the way that they were whispering to each other it was so hilarious then freaking die steps on a stick and pop just freaks the hell out and it was so freaking hilarious because die had to shut him up because pop was freaking out so much oh my gosh it was so funny i loved it freaking love it and then when the infanticore wakes up when they turn around and see that it was awake it looks menacing as hell it literally looks like it came out of hell. So freaking cool. And then Pop was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it looks like it's about to do a sizzle. And that looks freaking awesome as well. And then after that, it cuts to the little girl playing with Gomechan, which was so adorable. Um, and then all of a sudden, you know, I don't know whose house it was, if it was the little girls or moms, but boom, basically like an explosion. And everyone falls. And mom does some freaking awesome Spider-Man moves off out of the house and then up to the ceiling and blah, blah, blah. And it looked dope. And she looks out to the distance and there's freaking an inferno, she says. There's a huge forest fire, which looked so dope. But it looks like it basically, you know, the Infanticore just lit the whole forest on fire, basically. And it's chasing Die and Pop, which is the last panel of the chapter. And it was fantastic. I absolutely loved it. Again, this chapter was really, really fun. And I absolutely enjoyed reading it. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if there's a specific part you like. And, um, yeah. Just please help me out with a like. Subscribe to the channel. Because you know you want to. And ring that notification bell. And I very much appreciate it. But even if you don't, just thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. And a special shout out to my patrons. PYB Jed and Adrian. Thank you guys for being patrons and for all your support. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right. That's basically it. So we will see you guys next time. Peace.